It was dubbed the biggest game of the decade for the Buccaneers. Tampa Bay riding a five game winning streak and in the middle of the playoff race on the road at 11 and 2. Dallas Cowboys first Bucks Sunday night primetime game since 2008. Cowboys favored by seven entering the night and the odd makers are pretty close to getting this right. 3-3 in the second Ezekiel Elliott decides to donate himself to the Salvation Army touchdown run and then jumps into the Salvation Army kettle. He gets flagged for excessive celebration. Dallas up 10-3 later in the quarter. Dak Prescott calls his own number right through a huge hole you could drive a truck through. Touchdown, boys, 17-3 Dallas. We go to the third. It's 17-6 Dallas. Watch this throw by Jameis Winston. Play action, rolling out, slinging it deep on a third and one. Ball is tipped and caught by Adam Humphreys. What a catch. Great concentration by Humphreys. Bucks cut the Cowboys lead to 17-13. Tampa Bay not done. Winston connected with Cameron Brait three times on this drive, and the third time's a charm. Touchdown, Bucks. They're up 2017. First lead since they led 3-0. Dallas tied it on a field goal, so we're tied with 12 minutes left in the game. And uh oh, Winston overthrows Humphreys Cowboys with the pick and returns it to the Bucks 22. And that, my friends, was the game changing play. One of four turnovers by the Buccaneers. Dan Bailey gives the Cowboys a 23 to 20 lead on this field goal. He'd add another. It's, the lead is now six. 35 seconds left. Last chance for the Bucks. Fourth and 12. Winston eludes the pressure, rolling out, trying to connect with Russell Shepard. But it's picked off again. Third one of the night for Jameis Winston, and that's your ball game. Bucks lose 26 to 20. Dallas ends the Buccaneers' five-game winning streak. Just a tough loss for the pewter and red. Winston responsible for all four Buccaneers turnovers. And how about Dak Prescott's performance? 32 of 36 for 279 through the air. So what does this loss do to the Bucks playoff picture? Here you go. They lose. Atlanta wins. So now the Falcons lead the Buccaneers by one game for first place in the division. How about the wild card? Washington did not play yesterday. They play later tonight in Monday Night Football against the Cardinals. So really, they have a half a game lead on the Bucs for that last playoff spot. The Packers won yesterday, so the Bucs and Packers are now tied right there for the third wild card spot. If there was a third wild card spot, which there isn't, so if the playoffs were to begin today, the Bucs wouldn't make it. But don't worry, it all could change tonight, depending on the Redskins and Cardinals game. And by the way, we still have two weeks of the regular season left. Next week, the Bucks travel to New Orleans on Christmas Eve for a rare Saturday game, and then the Bucks will come back home here for the final regular season game of the year against Carolina on New Year's Day.